Being both an animal lover and art pupil, Chang Lea decided to gather some fellow students for a project that would draw on their skills for a good cause. Her team of at least nine Bukit Panjang government high school students came up with the idea to raise funds by selling DIY crochet animal keychains and notebooks with animal drawings. People love to buy pets on impulse because they are cute, right, said Leia, who is in secondary tree. So it was something like, you can buy this instead of real pets, dot. In April, the students set up a booth in collaboration with the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals SPC at their school canteen for about three days. Their notebooks and customizable keychains were priced at six Singapore dollars and seven Singapore dollars. Fifty-four US dollars and fifty cents and five US dollars and sixty cents respectively. By the end of the first day, the items were almost sold out, said Leia. Team member Yazilin Tang said the main aim of their project was to raise awareness about animal cruelty. People might know about SPCA, but they might not know exactly what their cause is, she added. Leia said it was fun to advocate for a cause that we believe in and educate my fellow peers. Leia, Yazilin and some of the others next took their products to an SPCA event in May. This time, they upped the ante and made about 200 notebooks and keychains, selling them at 7 Singapore dollars and 10 Singapore dollars respectively. In total, the students raised almost 1,700 Singapore dollars across both their school and SPCA events. The Bukit Panjang government high school students are among SPCA's 500 youth volunteers and fundraisers. These youths are aged between 6 and 24 years old, ranging from preschool to university students, said the organization's executive director Arthi Senka. Students from nearly 60 schools conducted fundraisers in support of the SPC in the last year or so. She added, Each year, more than 10,000 Singapore dollars is raised by youths with most of it going towards the SPCA's general operating costs, Ms. Arthi noted. Some also choose to fundraise for specific areas such as upgrades to SPCA's dog run and shelter. By involving youths in our programs and fundraising activities, the SPCA aims to nurture a generation of advocates for animal welfare. These youths also serve as ambassadors who can raise awareness about animal abuse and the importance of treating animals with respect, said Miss Arthi. They have the potential to influence the attitudes and behaviours of their peers, creating a ripple effect that extends the reach of SPCA, helping us create a compassionate society where all animals are treated with respect. Anglo-Chinese school independent student Quinton Wong is one of SPCA's advocates, though not exactly by choice. His doctoral was just a year old when it died in a car accident, prompting then 10-year-old Quinton to take up volunteering for the organization. Following Toro's tragedy, he decided to raise funds to upgrade SPCA's non-profit community animal clinic. Through a gala dinner, I wanted his short but fruitful life to mean something, said Quinton, who is now in secondary tree. With his mother's help, Quinton put together a video documenting his memories shared with Toro. He also contributed 1,000 Singapore dollars towards the cause and got a huge shock when the final amount raised was 25,000 Singapore dollars. I didn't expect it at all, Quinton recalled. I thought we would raise a maximum of about five Singapore dollars. Zero, zero, zero. He later continued his fundraising efforts for SPCA in other smaller ways, including by selling his mother's shoes on online marketplace Carousel, which yielded about 700 Singapore dollars. For his efforts, SPCA presented him with a special award for his work as a youth ambassador. To Quinton, fundraising complements the physical act of rolling up one's sleeves. 
it makes for more well-rounded assistance. He said, and serves the same simple goal, allowing SPCA to do more to help the animals.